Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Resident Evil The Board Game by Steam Forge Games and today we are up to third floor B which is the true proper fight against Yon the Snake which we did encounter once before. This is Yon's second encounter but it's actually what he's called and that does matter for the stack card he uses and also his rules. The arena is the same and more or less he acts the same. In fact his AI deck starts literally the same as his first encounter. The difference though, if we look at the Yon card down here, is he, well, he has a limited vision rule, he had that before, it doesn't really matter if you're playing solo, but he has aggressive reaction. If Yon suffers damage from an attack after the attack is resolved, each character in a square adjacent to Yon must pass an easy evade or they suffer one damage and are pushed. So basically if you're, for instance, if he was where he is now, any of these squares count as adjacent to him. Chris where he starts is fine. If you're using a second character or second players they would start down here. And his special rules for this is called Serpent Spiral. At the start of the reaction phase, so just before you draw his AI card, uh, check Yon's health dial and then consult the table below which is in the scenario booklet. And depending on the threshold it tells you to remove a card and add a card. So the cards you have to add are up here that's an unused card from Yon Phase 1 and basically he gets more and more dangerous attacks including an insta-kill attack. A couple of things though because we are playing true solo, insta-kill cards don't insta-kill, they put you in danger and he starts with 10 less health so he actually instantly meets the first threshold as we start the fight because he starts with 30 HP but because of the rules for solo play he has 10 less so he's starting at 20 so as soon as we hit our first reaction phase I'm gonna have to remove snake bite and add snapping jaws and it gets nastier and nastier as it gets closer to death I have with me the magnum that has three rounds left that we got last time the self-defense gun which is a guaranteed three damage the only heals we have which is two green herbs the grenade launcher with six grenades because we did reload it last time the assault shotgun with six shots and the flamethrower with a full 10. So damage wise we should be absolutely fine. It's going to come down to Chris's evades and how nasty the cards get because we will not be able to heal a lot. So I think that about covers it. Let me just double check the rules and then we'll get started. I've looked at the health dial and as you definitely will be able to hear unfortunately there is a lot of building work going on inside the house today. The best laid plans of mice and men get eaten by giant snakes. It's unfortunate, this is the only time I have to record this, so we're going to push on, but I do apologise for the noise. I'll try and do extra cuts um, so that there's not too much background noise from this point on. I can't imagine there'll be buzz sawing for that long. So we're going to do a little break again here, but I'm just letting you know if you see additional cuts in this video, it's not because I'm fudging dice rolls, it's because of that noise you can probably hear right now. Alright, I'm pausing the buzz sawing. Let's get started with Chris. We're going to move twice. I'm going to go one, two down here because uh, Yon is still going to be doing the, the clockwise anti-clockwise thing from before and I'm just going to fire the magnum at him twice because it's our best damage dealer so why would I hold it back I'm not a boss in a Dark Souls game that is just a normal hit which is 3 damage so that's him down to 17 and the second one we'll just roll the other die oh fantastic so that is 3 more putting him down to 14 Nice. Unfortunately that's our turn, so now we have to check the threshold. He's not at 15, no he is at 15. Okay, so now we've got to do a lot of deck management. We've got to take out Venom Spit and Snake Bite. There's Venom Bite. Uh, spit I mean, and there's Snake Bite. And then we add in Snapping Jaws and Lunge and Recoil. There's Lunge and Recoil. And Snapping Jaws. And there's the Buzzsaw again. So those cards stay out of the deck now and I guess I'm going to do a break and then we'll draw a card. I don't think that noise is stopping anytime soon but it's not as loud anymore, they're not buzzsawing the tarmac. So we're drawing an AI card, hopefully it adds to the ambience and the unsettling. Oh, isn't that one of the ones we just added? Yes it is. Move Yon diagonally. Wow. And then flip his direction card. So he's moving diagonally so unfortunately I moved myself right into his AoE which is just peachy and we have to do an evade. His evade is still just difficulty 1 for 1 damage. Okay, we dodged him. But then he does a range 1 medium dodge for 1 damage plus a push. And then we flip his direction. And that one we did not do. So that is 1 damage. And we flip him to anti-clockwise. 
And then we get a turn. I'm gonna move back for one so I'm not adjacent so he doesn't react and snap at me. Uh, we had three magnum rounds, right? So I'm gonna fire one magnum round for number two action. That is a... there we go, that's another three. It puts him at 11 already. Really I'm just trying to murder him as fast as possible because I don't have the the heals or the health for this to go to attrition. So, that's us out of magnum rounds though, so we'll move on to our next best option, which is grenade launcher. Chuck a grenade for action number three. A hit with this is what? Two damage? So that's him down to nine. And last action, another grenade. And that's another two damage. So he's down to seven already. But, as we enter the reaction phase, pardon me a moment, he is down to what, seven? So we have to look out, body slam and slither. Here we go. Body slam, there's body slam, and slither. And we have to add Tail Smash and Blind Fury. There's Blind Fury. Good movie. And Tail Smash. So let me just shuffle these because we're going to have to draw one of them immediately. There we go. And he is doing Lunge and Recoil. So move yon two corners. Whoop. Whoop, he is going to shove us. So we have to do an evade. We do it with the best evade, actually. So it's good. And then he does a range one, medium dodge, one damage with a push, and then he moves diagonally again. So does he evade the attack? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Will I use the self defense gun? Yes. Yes, I will. It's time to clear some inventory space. I'm. Using that up, we count this having passed it, and we deal 3 damage. So that puts him on 4. So we count as passing the evade roll, so I can move. Actually, no I can't. He has to move at me first, then he moves diagonally, so we have to do another evade, because he's going right through us like that. And that we did not pass, unfortunately. So we get hit. So, he he's getting his best 2 attacks. Uh, well, no, he's getting the insta-kill attack when he activates again now. He gets swallowed, so we have to kill him this turn. I was going to use some actions to heal, but he's only got four health left. So honestly, we're just chucking four grenades at him, if that's what it takes. It might take two, it might not be enough, let's see. Well, that's a bad start, so that's zero. And let's go with grenade number two. That is two. One more of those, and that's just peachy. We only have two left. Third action. <laughs> Fourth action. Okay, fair enough. That's all grenades gone, and he's got two health left. So when he activates, he actually doesn't get his run amok attack. He has to be on one health for him to get that. But we have to look away Coiled Grasp. There it goes. And we have to add Swallow, which is the insta kill. Shuffle these up again. Yep, and he is doing Tail Smash, well at least it's not Swallow. Yon's collision attacks this turn are difficulty medium instead of difficulty easy. Move him diagonally and then do that attack. So he's smashing through Chris, so this is a medium dodge this time. He passed it. And then he's doing a range 1 medium dodge, 1 damage with a push. He actually passed that as well. Amazing. Alright Chris, um, we're out of grenades, so... You are adjacent to Yon, so flamethrower him and don't miss because otherwise he'll hit you because I don't really want to have to walk away. This is, yep. Yeah. That's two damage. That is Yon out of there. He had two health left. It cost us a flamethrower round. But once and for all, the poor snake is defeated. So we got very lucky there. After the encounter, you draw a C item and reduce, reduce rather the mansion danger level by three. So the C item is actually the last C item in the game, which is the stone and metal object. We still need the other one, and because we're using the Into the Darkness scenario, uh, expansion rather, we don't get the other object, plus the like you get the thing for the middle and the other ring, until we do the caves, which is all the extra stuff. So we're back into the expansion stuff next time, starting with Garden C. If you weren't using the expansions and you were just using the core box, you would have both of these, which means you could go to the Crypt B scenario, which is the fight against Lisa Trevor that gets rid of her. You can't unlock that until you have two completed versions of this item. 
So that is the C deck done though. So we have everything we need. I believe Garden C required the battery that we got ages ago. We, uh, we get back two ammo, so it's not like we have zero magnum rounds. We're getting two free rounds per scenario. We basically have to reserve them for hunters. But that's okay. We have two grenades as well. And I don't think we're getting any other weapons except maybe the rocket launcher for the tyrant boss fight at the very end of the game. So we have to make do with what we have. I didn't have to use either of my green herbs. So we're starting with all the heals next time. Uh, yeah, but I think that about covers it. There's nothing else to do. That was a very quick one and that's just as well. I apologise again for the background noise. We'll be doing Garden C next time, which has a bunch of kerosene containers on it, and also acid rounds. We have to look through kerosene to find it, because there's like four kerosene and one acid round. But that would also be very handy to have, because I presume it does bonus damage to living things. Thank you for watching, though. Quick one. See you next time. Ta-ta for now.